Today we're going to check out the all new Sonos controller app. It is available for both iOS and Android. It's totally free, totally revamped, and totally awesome. It's uh, It's got an upgraded UI and things have been moved around a little bit and so it's easier to use. Everything's still there. So you can still use it to control all your zones, uh, whether you have you know a Play 1, Play 3, Play 5, or you're rocking out with your Play Bar in your media center, your living room. Uh, everything is still there and it's still gonna work the same. It does work on both iOS and Android, so it's gonna work in parity across all your platforms. And you can see here the UI, it's a lot lighter and it's definitely got a different layout to it. All your favorites and playlists and music on your phone are up top there. And then you have your streaming services in the middle and down the bottom here we have our settings, which there are plenty of. Uh, you can see we have our room settings, our dock settings, advanced settings. So pretty much everything you need is going to be right in there. Um, and we also have our alarms too. So if you like to set your Sonos, you can wake up to it bright and early in the morning. You're welcome to do that here. And then we have our main screen. So we'll jump into our playlists and you can see all the saved ones I have here. And we'll pick one of my cheesy stations and it fires right up on my office speaker there. So this is your playing screen. You can see we have uh, all our Pandora controls there. And then we have our queue here, which you can edit and clear and save. And then we have our overflow menu, which is your contextual controls, depending on your, your streaming app. So these are all the Pandora ones that are in here and those will change obviously. And then down on the bottom is the crossfade, which you can toggle on and off. And then you also have your sleep timer, which you can set anywhere up to two hours, um, which I actually use quite often. Um, so all in all, that's very cool. And the app is pretty much exactly the same on Android too. So you can see here, we have all our zones, you know, everything looks the same. So there's no real differences that you're gonna find. You know, some of the menus may be in different spots, but overall, everything's gonna work in unison. So whether you're using iOS or Android, or you know, you're back on your computer or something, it's all gonna work the same. But overall, I really dig the app. It's, uh, it's laid out a lot better than it was before. You can jump back and forth between your zones, do your party mode, your separate players, you know, and of course with your Sonos, you can play different songs in different areas and whatever you wanna do. But it's definitely one of our favorite accessories by far. So hopefully they keep up the good work and we still see the updates for that. But this is the all new Sonos controller. It is available now for both iOS and Android and it is totally free and totally awesome.